Today we're going to be diving into three R's that can actually help fight cancer. Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned physician and researcher, has devoted his life to exploring how the foods we eat can help our bodies fight cancer. His research emphasizes how the right diet can strengthen our natural defenses, boost blood vessel health, and even slow or stop cancer growth. Today, we'll focus on three of his favorite foods that can transform your health and overall well-being. In my book, Eat to Beat the Seas, I got it right here. Check it out if you haven't read it. I strongly recommend it, Eat to Beat the Z's. It's got a lot of stuff in here about food doses and all the different kinds of foods that can activate your health defenses to fight cancer. There's whole sections about um, cancer-fighting foods in there. Dr. William Lee, the best-selling author of Eat to Beat Disease and founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation, has dedicated his research to understanding how the foods we eat can actually starve cancer. His groundbreaking work focuses on a process called anti-angiogenesis, which is the body's natural ability to cut off the blood supply that cancer cells need to grow. Today, let's explore three powerful and delicious red foods that can help your body do exactly that. Number one, beets. I think I've talked about uh, this before, but check this out. Beets. Beets have a bioactive called betanin, which is anti-androgenic. It cuts off the blood supply of the tumors. And in beets actually is a substance that actually causes our body to produce nitric oxide, which actually helps heal our blood vessels and lower blood pressure. It actually causes the vasodilation. So uh, beets are great. And also beet greens, the tops of beets, also contain bioactives that are worth uh, going for when you actually cook with them. So don't throw away the toss. Beets, beta vulgaris, are nutrient-rich root vegetables known for their deep red color and impressive health benefits, especially their potential role in fighting cancer. The cancer-fighting properties of beets stem mainly from their high concentration of antioxidants, phytonutrients, and detoxifying compounds. One of the most powerful compounds found in beets is betacianin, the pigment responsible for their red-purple hue. Betacianin acts as a potent antioxidant that neutralizes free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can damage DNA and trigger cancer cell growth. Inside every beet is a compound called betanin, and this stuff is powerful. Betanin helps protect your cells and may even cut off the blood supply that tumors need to grow. Think of it like pulling the plug on anything toxic in your system. It's nature's quiet bodyguard working from the inside out. But that's not all. Beets actually help your body produce nitric oxide, and this is a game changer. Nitric oxide relaxes and widens your blood vessels, improving blood flow and lowering blood pressure. That means more oxygen reaching your brain, muscles, and heart. It's like giving your entire circulation system a tune-up. And here's the part most people forget beet greens. Yup, the leafy tops you usually throw away? They're loaded with nutrients too, magnesium, vitamin K, and antioxidants that help detoxify and strengthen your body. So next time, don't toss them, saute them, blend them, or add them to your smoothie. Beets aren't just food, they're fuel. They help you fight inflammation, boost endurance, and support your natural defenses. So whether you're juicing them, roasting them, or tossing them into a salad, add some beet power to your plate. Number two, apple. Look, I love apples. You've heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. The simple apple. It might look ordinary, but this fruit is loaded with powerful plant nutrients known as polyphenols. Among them are compounds like procyanidins and epigallocatechin, gallate, quite the tongue twisters, but their effects are incredible. Research from the Institute of Food Research has shown that these natural compounds can block a molecule called VEGF, short for vascular endothelial growth factor. Think of VEGF as a help-wanted signal that tumors send out to grow new blood vessels and get more fuel. When this signal gets blocked, cancer cells can't easily form their own blood supply, meaning they're cut off from the nutrients they need to grow. So yes, it turns out that the old saying might be true. An apple a day could do far more than just keep the doctor away. It might actually help your body defend itself against disease. Well, what about prevention? What are foods that can prevent cancer? Well, it turns out that 
two apples a day actually can lower the rate of lung cancer and colon cancer. Why? Because there are natural substances in apples like quercetin, that's one of the natural chemicals, that actually are naturally anti-angiogenic. One of the most powerful compounds in apples is quercetin, a natural antioxidant found mainly in the skin. Research shows that quercetin helps the body remove damaged or abnormal cells, including potential cancer cells, through a natural process called apoptosis. It also calms inflammation and neutralizes harmful free radicals that can damage DNA and trigger cancer. Apples also contain procyanidins and small amounts of EGCG, a compound also found in green tea. These nutrients may help stop cancer cells from multiplying and block the growth of new blood vessels that feed tumors, essentially cutting off their energy supply. Now, what's in an apple that's good for you? Orogenic acid. Fluorogenic acid lights up your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you gotta wash it really well anyway, but if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin, if what that does. That protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. One more apple fact. Apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidins. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat. Again, good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. Apples also help keep your gut healthy thanks to pectin, a type of soluble fiber that nourishes the good bacteria in your digestive system. A balanced gut supports a strong immune system and helps reduce inflammation, two key factors in protecting your body from cancer. Most of these powerful compounds are concentrated in the apple skin, so it's best to choose organic apples and enjoy them with the peel on for maximum benefit. Number three, pomegranate. Let's talk about uh, next food. We're going to talk about pomegranates. Speaking about purplish, reddish um, uh, foods, the pomegranate, also a tropical uh, fruit, although you can find them uh, in uh, the most grocery stores now. They are kind of like a big apple with a thick skin and a little bit of a crown at the very top. They're heavy. You know why they're heavy? Because they're filled with seeds that around every seed uh, uh, is a little, uh, little bit of liquid, and that's pomegranate juice. Pomegranates are not only delicious and refreshing, but also incredibly powerful for your health. They're packed with natural compounds that help the body defend itself against disease. Rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents, pomegranates may help slow the growth of tumors and block the nutrients cancer cells rely on to survive. Now, this, these seeds and pomegranate juice are packed with bioactives. These are naturally occurring chemicals that give foods their biological punch. Okay, this is what you eat to beat disease, um, is, is, are these foods with these bioactives. And in pomegranate, they're called elagitanins. Now, elagitanins uh, also help to give the, the bites, the kind of acidity, um, and also contribute to the color of the pomegranate. You want to be careful when you actually uh, eat and work with pomegranate because that dye around the seeds will stain your clothes if you're not careful. All right, but absolutely delicious. You know, by the way, each seed looks to, like a little ruby, beautiful red color. You ever see pomegranate in salad? Uh, I had a Syrian salad the other day called Fatouche, and it had little pomegranate seeds in it. So as you're eating the salad, you bite into it, these little ruby, uh, fruity rubies, and an explosion of sweet uh, flavor and juice. Absolutely delicious. One of the key strengths of pomegranates lies in their rich polyphenol content, particularly elagitanins and punical agents. These powerful natural compounds help slow the growth of cancer cells and keep tumors from spreading by preventing the formation of new blood vessels that feed them. In simple terms, they help starve cancer cells and make it harder for them to thrive. So what do elagitanins do? Well, they do a couple of things. Uh, pomegranate uh, uh, elagitanins have been shown to cut off the blood supply to tumors, all right, starve cancer, anti-angiogenic. And in fact, clinical studies have even been done 
in men with prostate cancer showing that pomegranate juice can actually slow down the rise of PSA. Now, if, uh, you don't know, PSA is a blood marker that goes up when you have prostate cancer. And for men who are actually um, having their PSA go up, 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 um, having pomegranate juice pretty much um, kept them at a uh, uh, cruising altitude so they wouldn't actually uh, keep rising. Pretty amazing, right? So what do we think actually is going on? Well, it turns out Elijah tannins are anti-androgenic. They cut off the blood supply to cancer. And in the case of prostate cancer, would make the prostate um, cancer harder, make it harder for them to actually grow uh, and become more aggressive. Hence, we think this is actually why the PSA actually is able to be leveled off. Pomegranates are loaded with antioxidants more than green tea or red wine. These antioxidants fight harmful free radicals that can damage DNA and lead to cancer. By lowering oxidative stress, pomegranates may help reduce the risk of cancers such as breast, prostate, colon, and lung. They also contain natural anti-inflammatory compounds that help calm chronic inflammation, one of the main triggers for cancer growth. Plus, pomegranates support your immune system, helping your body recognize and fight abnormal cells early. Now, the other thing that pomegranate juice does, which is really amazing, is that the elagic tannins, um, which you eat, goes trickles down your gut, goes down to your lower gut, your colon, and it stimulates your colon to produce natural mucus, right? We think about mucus normally in the, uh, in the upper throat, back of the mouth, right? If you wanna actually have spit, right? But mucus is all throughout our GI tract, all throughout our intestines. And in the colon, when your colon uh, secretes mucus, mucin, um, it helps a natural healthy gut bacteria called Acromancia mucinophila. Some people say mucinophilia, wrong. Acromancia mucinophila. This is one of your best friends in of gut bacteria because acromancia, when it comes to cancer, talks to your immune system, makes your immune system a lot beefier and stronger in the battle against cancer. So here's pomegranate with pomegranate juice with elagitans that actually lower inflammation. They starve cancer by cutting off the blood supply. They help nurture your gut microbiome, including an organism, Acromancia mucinophila, that actually talks to your immune system and helps your immune system pounce and get rid of cancer. All right? What do these red foods have in common? They're loaded with phytonutrients that starve tumors by blocking abnormal blood vessel growth, help repair DNA, and reduce inflammation. Remember, there's no single food that can prevent or cure disease on its own, but adding nutrient-rich options like these to your daily meals can strengthen your body's natural defenses. Always talk to your healthcare provider for guidance that fits your personal needs, especially if you're in treatment. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and let us know in the comments your favorite healthy recipes or how you use food to stay well. For more tips on simple, everyday choices that support a healthier life, make sure to subscribe and explore our other videos. Stay well, stay positive, and keep thriving.